If you guys are watching right now, you can see me over here. It's uh, June 22nd and Thursday. Not too busy of a day today, but uh, I have a meeting at 1130. Going to look at another uh, development, a property, and about to eat my breakfast for the day. And Kelvin's here today. So Maddie, Brittany, we're all here. It's going to be a nice day. It's actually, it's like the prettiest it's been all week. It's been really disgusting here. Leg day, um, cardio today. I didn't hit a weigh-in this morning. I haven't hit a weigh-in in a really long time, to be honest with you guys. Uh, 174.0 is my lowest, and that's been like two weeks. It's been almost, it's been probably two, maybe even a little over two weeks since I've hit that. Um, so I've already adjusted my macros down. My current macros are 220 grams of protein, 260 grams of carbs, and I'm right at about 60 grams of fat. So the carbs kind of fluctuate between 260 and 270, uh, 275 to be honest with you guys, but I was at about 320 carb for the first, around 320 to 330 for the first about 11 weeks of prep, 11 to 12 weeks. And then I just made my first big adjustment and that's where I'm at right now, but I haven't been dropping. So um, I may have to dig a little bit deeper or just add a little bit more cardio in. So yeah, um, that's a quick talk, but let's go inside. Here we go, right here. Changing my shoes to match a little bit better. I bought, um, some jeans from Top Man yesterday, if you guys saw yesterday's video. And they're all the same exact. What the heck? There they are. My headphones, man. <laughs> uh, they're all the same exact size, but like one of the pairs just doesn't fit me whatsoever. And they're the same exact cut as these, and they just don't fit. So I might have to take those back um, sometime soon. And yeah, check out the ass in a bit. What's up, Kondo? Six ounces of lean ground turkey with four egg beaters. And I used to just put my ground turkey in rice, in my protein and rice, but honestly, as soon as I dropped my carbs down from 300 plus to like 260, uh, I haven't been having rice nearly as much. I'm shifting more to oatmeal, uh, rice cakes. I've been having like uh, power pancakes, the Kodiak cakes, just a lot more than I was having that rice because the rice is like 70 carbs per package. So. A little bit heavy and it's not that much volume so now's that point um five and a half weeks out where i'm starting to look for those volume foods so that's how you know prep is getting real man Alright guys, so I'm gonna take you through my leg workout today. We're uh, right at five weeks out. Five weeks and two days out from the competition. Lee Labrada, July 30th. So I'm ready. I haven't hit a weigh-in in over two weeks. We're gonna hit this leg workout, keep the rest times fairly low. We're gonna hit cardio afterwards, just knock it out, get it done. So starting out with walking lunges, four to five sets, 12 reps on each, using about 50 pounds. I'm ready. Forming up the body weight. Lunge. We got a special guest here. We got Nadine. Nadine himself is working out today. He'll be here for maybe like a week or so. Long time supporter. Amazing guy. Set two.
I'm about to try, uh, I'm about to try three sets of eight with 315 pounds. I'm not wearing my knee sleeves. Plug my running shoes. Here we go. Oh. Starting, bro. It's super lightheaded. Get it lightheaded. Done, bro. My knees are aching. I'm tired all day. It's cutting though. This is what I'm now 13 weeks. Yeah. 13 weeks into my cut. It's freaking over three months already been cutting. Feels like forever. But uh yeah. Do my best and bring the best back to the can. I'm ready to finish up strong, man. I'm ready to finish strong. Props to those guys who die at 30, 28, 30, 32 weeks, things like that. It takes a lot of dedication, just competing in general. Even if you're doing like an 8, 10, 12 week prep, a lot of dedication. A lot of saying no to things. So, know what you want and just sacrifice whatever you have to. Do the best you can to maintain your relationships and your friendships. Keep your sanity. And uh, suck it up, get it done. These bars are so wet. I'll tell you what, the legs take a beating over anything. Prepping. Two leg workouts a week, four cardio sessions. My legs are fried. Man. When my legs are fried, everything else just feels, it's hard, you know? We're just fatigued though, not really fried. Fatigue is better, better term. Yeah. Ah. 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 Heavy, 10 to 15 lighter drop. Ooh, man. Sean and Tammy back in the commentary for you all and today I'm going to take you through my push workout. Today I hit chest, triceps, and a little bit of shoulders. Just one exercise which I'm going to take you guys through. I'm literally going to break this entire workout down for you guys in case you want to try it out. I would highly recommend that you try it out. It's sort of this, I'm almost trying this new training style. Not new training style, but I'm altering my training a bit now that I'm getting closer to my show. I'm less than five weeks out now, and so when I'm in the gym, I want to maintain my strength. I want to stay strong, but I also want to maximize the amount of calories I can burn, maximize my energy in the gym uh, or my output in the gym to be able to create more of a deficit so I can drop weight, drop body fat, and bring the best physique that I can. So right now my goal is to not my goal is not to be a power lifter. My goal is literally to keep as much strength, keep as much muscle as I can, and bring the best physique I've ever done, ever created, ever shown. So first exercise is the flat barbell bench press. Uh, five work, five warm up sets. The bar, the bar, the bar for three sets, thirty reps, and then one thirty five, two twenty five. I think I did two seventy five, and then my first working set was two eighty five. So the goal here was to fall into six to eight reps. So no less than six reps, but no more than eight reps. So the first set I did two eighty five for eight. The second set and the third set, what you're seeing here, the third set two ninety five. I hit six reps, so I fell within six to eight reps. And a few key things I'm focusing on is keeping an arch in my lower back. You know, keep in mind, you want to keep an arch in your lower back, but at the same time, you have two requirements. Your back needs to stay on the bench, your butt needs to stay on the bench, 
and I guess the requirement, your feet need to stay on the ground. So those are my three things I, I, I'm, I'm sure that I'm always, always doing uh, while benching. And I've always had a fairly strong bench press. Uh, my pushing muscles are strong in my chest, my triceps, my shoulders. But here you're seeing Nadim. Nadim is coming all the way from this little tiny place. I'm not exactly sure where he lives, uh, but he has been such a big supporter. And he finally made his way down to the Alphalete Gym. And we've been getting some workouts in here and there and uh, just having a good time. So he joined us on the workout. And that was it for the bench press. So three working sets, guys, and not, not that that much. But now this is sort of that new training style that I was talking to you guys about. So I'm still focusing at the beginning of my workout at hitting a compound lift, right? My bench press. I'm going to go as heavy as possible. I'm taking, you know, two, three, four minute rest times and really just trying to keep all the strength that I can, right? Now, after that compound movement, I'm increasing the intensity, dropping the rest times down, and I'm just increasing the intensity. So here what you're seeing is 80 pounds on the incline dumbbell. I did eight reps, and so my goal was again to stay within six to eight reps, but then as soon as I'm done, I go and I grab a lighter dumbbell, I think I grabbed like 35 or 40s here, and I jump right into the same exact movement once again. But now, my chest is already fatigued, my heart rate's coming up right now, my heart rate's already up from that first set, and now I'm, I'm continuing the set, and I wanted to hit anywhere from 12 to 15 reps with a drop. So it's just one single drop, like a drop set, but you're just going from six to eight, drop the weight, go 10 to 15 ish and then then you rest and then you take about four you know 45 seconds to a minute and a half rest the the rest time really is more instinctive for me there's not like i don't have a stopwatch i used to do that i used to have a stopwatch but uh, i don't have a stopwatch it's really when i feel the best if i know that all right, i've already got my strength training out of the way now i just want to focus on you know lifting as heavy as i can but still you know getting my heart rate up burning calories and creating that, that that caloric deficit, creating a larger caloric deficit. So uh, here is the third movement. We did three sets of the incline. Every single set you drop. So it's not just one set, but you do that the exact same drop every single set. Here on the lateral raises, you're seeing I did six to eight reps really heavy. You guys might think the form was like really bad, <laughs> but you use a very controlled sway and you focus on pulling your elbows up so you, you feel your shoulders working. So six to eight reps there, really more like eight to 10. And then drop the weight down. Like literally I'm only doing 10 pounds here and I'm doing pause reps, extremely, extremely controlled pause reps. So you go from you know a, a heavy dumbbell, 35, 40 pounds where you're swaying a lot, superset, drop down to 10 pounds and literally keep that form. Like, like you want the most perfect, clean, slow, tempoed form that you've ever seen in your entire life. You wanna hold at the top, come down to your sides, up and just literally control the weight, guys. And the burn on those is absolutely insane, especially after uh, after dropping weight. Uh, and I'm really liking this drop method, and it's definitely something I'm going to incorporate on my back days, even on my leg days here and there. Maybe not on every single thing, but uh, definitely try it out, guys. So here, once again, the common pattern here, guys, is three working sets, okay? And we're doing a drop on every single set. So. Uh, here we did the cable fly. I think I did like eight to ten reps, and then I dropped the weight down pretty much by fifty percent, and came in and did about fifteen to twenty reps. Really just focusing on squeezing my chest. Now, focus on. It's not about, especially guys. You have to know what your goal is. Okay, if you want to be the strongest person in the gym, if you want to hit, you know, a, a four hundred five bench and a five hundred fifty pound squat and a six hundred pound deadlift, like those are amazing objectives, and there is nothing wrong with that. Like you need to know what you want, and if that's the direction you want to go, then your training should. You have to know where you want to go so you can backtrack and find out what the most efficient way to get there is to hit your goal. For me right now, my goal is to bring my physique. I have a show in less than five weeks, and that is what I am focusing on. That is my concern. Everything else can be subsided because that is what I am focusing on. All right. So here is a physique update. Like I said, right now it's Monday, June 27th that, you're, uh, that I'm doing this commentary. It's the morning. I'm going to release the video in a few hours. But uh, I'm less than five weeks out now, so four weeks and five days out from my competition. I'm looking leaner right now than I did uh, like a week and a half out from my last show, and I've still got close to five weeks left. So I'm very, very excited. Uh, there's definitely weighing in like 174 to 175, and so I think that if I can drop another four to five pounds, which I'm going to push my body this week, my macros get adjusted. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video. I'm going to talk to you guys about my macros and uh, what I'm doing in the gym with my cardio and everything. Here I was kind of – I was uh, – Talking to Sholly, boom, getting my, in my posing position. But 
I'm really excited to take my physique to the next level. And the next few weeks, it's almost like I've done so much of the work, but now these last, the last little bit is literally going to be the hardest. I'm already feeling like crap um, every day. I feel so exhausted. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I feel it, it's so draining. Um, I feel like the time in the gym is like all of my energy goes to the hour and a half in the gym and then my cardio. And uh, I guess I'm going to talk to you guys just a little bit more personally. I, I almost feel bad in a way, not bad, but you know, it's summertime and we have a lot of day passes, a lot of people that are coming and check out the gym. And uh, it's been tough to be able to balance like, all right, right now I'm zoning in and some workout time. I've only got like 45 minutes to an hour of like actual fuel um, where I can stay focused and like have a good workout. And then, you know, when I try to like talk to people that are coming down and visiting, I, of course I, I do my best to, but I, I just feel like I'm not giving my, I'm not giving what I think should be my 110% attention to them. And it just sucks. It's like, you can't, you, I literally right now, I can't have the best. If I take, you know, 10 minutes to talk to someone, if I've already started my workout and I only have an hour of fuel, like, and you get distracted there and you kind of cool down, it's extremely hard for me to get back in the zone. So if you guys can visit, you know, if you see me like mid workout or anything, just, you know, um, I guess I just need to focus on finishing my workout, not getting distracted, and then you know talking to people after, talking to people before. I really dedicate myself to starting because once I start, like I need to be in the zone, in the zone, in the zone until I'm done, and uh, that's sort of where I'm at now. But at the same time, I just feel bad that you know like some people have to leave like mid workout, and then of course I'm gonna talk to them, and it, it kind of throws me off. But I'm just doing the best I can, and um, yeah, I don't know. That was sort of like a side. Uh, a little tangent, but that is, you know, honestly, that is something that's affecting my workouts, to be real with you guys, um, and it's something that I'm working on, so on top of the training and everything, that, that is a, a thing I'm working on. Anyway, moving on. Um, push down. I'd use a straight bar, again, heavy, heavy 6 to 8 reps, super set, or drop set, 15 to 20 reps, and then the final tricep movement right here, the, the final specific tricep movement was a French press with the dumbbell, pausing at the bottom. So pause, feel the stretch in the tricep, come up. Try to keep the elbows as close to your uh, ears as possible, but they do flare out a little bit. As long as it's comfortable and not causing you pain, you're gonna be fine. So really to break down the workout, guys, we had three sets of everything. Uh, the only thing that we didn't do drop sets on was the first movement, so the flat bench. So you have flat bench press, three sets of six to eight reps, as heavy as possible. Incline dumbbell with the drop. You have a side lateral with the drop. You have a cable fly with the drop. You have a tricep push down with the drop, a French press with the drop, and then the final, final movement. So we did seven total movements here uh, for this entire, entire workout. The seventh movement was not a drop, but it was just three sets of complete, complete failure. Literally, you don't hear that too often. You're going to complete failure, guys. I want you to go till you physically cannot go anymore on these. Body weight dips. Uh, here, I was only able, you know, I think fresh. If I'm completely fresh, I could probably knock out 45, 50 dips. But here, I, I was only able to do like 12 to 20 uh, on the first set, then like 12 to 15 on the second set, and less than 10 on the last set because I was just so smoked. And uh, that's how I finished my workout. Three sets to failure. And that was the entire workout session, guys. So thank you uh, for tuning in, and I'll talk to you on the next one. All right, guys, just finished up my chest, tricep, and a little bit of shoulders. That workout, I did 20 minutes of Stairmaster, and I'm feeling leaner than I ever have. I feel like my physique right now is better than I was a week and a half, a week out last year, and I'm so excited. I'm excited to keep pushing myself. I'm excited to bring you guys all this content the last five weeks, these last, this last grind time, this last push time. Macros, we have training, we have the business, we have so much is going on. We have new employees coming in this week. We've got meetups planned for July. There's so much going on. And I'm so excited to bring it to you guys. This weekend I went to Austin, Lake Travis, got on the boat for a bit. You know, it took my mind off the of things for a while. And now we're back, it's Sunday afternoon. Amazing busy week ahead goals, goals to hit, things to get done, videos to produce, content to create, and I couldn't be more excited. Thank you guys for watching this video. Summer Shredding is my goal effect.